Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I've got with me the OnePlus One Clear Case. So I picked this up on OnePlus' site about two months ago, and it was actually pretty cheap at $10.99 before taxes and shipping. I wasn't looking for anything too heavy, just something light to protect my OnePlus One from scratches and scuffs. I recently took it with me on a trip, so I feel like it's a good time to give you all my full video review, so let's go ahead and get right into it. This is my OnePlus One Clear Case review. Let's go ahead and take a look. So starting off with the packaging, this actually surprised me in a good way because it looks really nice. I was expecting just some cheap plastic kind of case to it, uh, but the box has this really nice soft touch to it and it definitely looks and feels premium. It also looks a lot like the OnePlus One device box, which is really cool. So kudos to OnePlus for that. But anyway, if we dive on into it, we have this inside piece that comes out with a push and a pull tab to release the case from its little home. Now this case has a sort of frosted layer to it, which makes it less clear than let's say a Spigen crystal clear case, but that didn't really bother me because it means that the scratches that this case is bound to pick up will be less noticeable in direct sunlight, which is great. Now, of course, this case has all the appropriate cutouts for the volume rocker and power lock switch. It's also got the camera and flash cutout on the back, as well as a little hole for the microphone that's on the back of the OnePlus One. And it's also got a sort of OnePlus One logo that's kind of hard to show, but it's basically just a non-frosted part of the case so that the OnePlus One logo on the back of the OnePlus One isn't blurred. So it looks pretty nice. This case is made from a polycarbonate and it's super flexible. Now, I really wouldn't worry about about it breaking or snapping at all. You could pretty much bend this thing at a 90 degree angle where the volume rocker and power button sit. Uh, it's just super flexible, which is really nice because it's definitely going to hold up over time. Now it does have a small lip on the front to prevent scratches on the screen if you're somebody who likes to lay your phone face down, but if you have something like a dbrand skin on the back of your OnePlus One, the lip is going to be pretty much non-existent since that skin is going to add just a small amount of thickness, but that didn't really bother me at all since I never placed my phone face down and it's not like it makes the case fall off or anything like that. So overall this is an awesome case for the money if you're looking for some light protection for your OnePlus One and you don't want to break the bank. I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in it and that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more, and don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.